How y'all doing today? Y'all already know it is your number one journalist with the St. Louis Argus, Lacey G. Soda Turner. And I have a very special guest with me today. We about to interview Senator Angela Walton Mosley. She going up for re-election and we finna get into her campaign and some serious things. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, one of the things I've learned is that you have to be able to communicate with your colleagues. Um, people think that if you file a bill that it's just going to automatically pass. But you have to um, discuss your bill with your colleagues prior to it even coming to the floor to help them, help them understand why your bill is important and why they should vote yes on your bill. So that's something I learned you have to communicate before the bill even comes to the floor. What are the most pressing issues in office that you are seeking to work on? Um, the most pressing issue that we get a lot of calls about are taxes. So um, trying to figure out how we can lower everyone's taxes, real estate and property. Because um, a lot of my calls I get are because of the real estate taxes and people were saying that their taxes were higher than their mortgage, which is pretty ridiculous. So that's one of the things that I would love to get changed in our state. What are your goals for office if you get reelected? My goals would be to get some more bills passed. Um, I have some really great bills that I think would be beneficial to the community. Uh, so I want to get those bills passed. I had a bill that creates a task force for missing and murdered African American women and girls. I really want to see that get across the finish line. It came really close last session. Um, also have some great bills for seniors and veterans. So that is my goal to get those bills across the finish line. What is the most important skill you think you need to have while being a state senator in office? The most important skill you should have as a state senator would be passion. You have to have passion for this job because of all the backbiting you have to deal with, the backstabbing you have to deal with, and also being passionate about your constituents. Because a lot of people call us with issues. Sometimes it's not on our level to help them with, but we can reach out to other levels of government on their behalf and a lot of sometimes people just throw them by the wayside but for me my constituents are my most important people of my job and I, that's why I make sure that my staff understand that they have to be at work every single day even when we're not in session so they can handle calls from my constituents and be able to help them right away so um, I think passion is a, the best skill to have. What separates you from your opponent that you're running against? Well, the main thing that separates me from her is that I show up for work. Um, she is known for not showing up for work, has missed 30 days of work and over 100 votes. So between me and her, I do show up to work every single day. I vote on every single bill. And the purpose of us being in legislation is to be there to vote on behalf of our constituents. So that's one of the ways that we're uh, separate from each other. I also have way more legislative experience than her. Um, and again, you need to be at work. Um, as a senator, we do filibuster a lot. and. How that works is for us to all be there together to work together on these filibusters because we take turns filibustering. So if you're not there to put in your time, you're not helping your Democratic team. I feel that I am very honest. I have integrity. And I think that also separates us from one another. Um, I don't try to do things just for accolades or camera time. Um, I do things, a lot of things behind the scenes, which may be a downfall for me because people think if they don't see you doing stuff, they don't think that you're doing it. 
I actually do a whole lot as a state senator, um, put in a lot of work into this job, and um, a lot of times people have no idea what I've done for some constituents because it's not really their business to know that I've done certain things and they might not want them, most of the world to know what I've done for them. But, um, yeah. Okay, school shootings and murders have been at an all-time high. What do you feel is the cause of this and what do you feel can be done to make a difference? Um, I feel the reason we have a lot of mass shootings is because of mental health issues. A lot of the people who commit these mass shooting crimes have, are dealing with some type of mental health issue. Um, and sometimes they have even reached out for some help and no one is listening. Um, also, we also need gun sense laws. So we need background checks. We need mental health checks um, and in this state because the Republicans are the majority they do not want us to have any type of gun sense laws whatsoever so right now anyone that wants a gun can have a gun um, if we find that the person is not mentally stable and it can be harm to themselves or to others you can't do anything about it um, just like with the uh, school mass shooting at Central Visual and Performing Arts, which is my alma mater, a um, young man's mother asked the police to please take his guns. But because of our laws here in Missouri, they weren't able to do anything. They had to give him back his guns. So um, one of the things I do have is a bill that would at least ban assault weapons. Um, I also have a bill that will, um, it's what they call a red flag law bill, and what that means is if a person is found to have some type of mental issue that they cannot have a gun. Another uh, bill I have, it addresses the school safety because um, visual and performing arts school was not safe. So what it does is makes it, um, it will make the DESE do a public safety check on all public schools here in Missouri to see what kind of vulnerabilities they have so they can address them accordingly. What are some of your own policies that you want to implement and support? Okay. Um, like I said, I have a bill that creates a task force for missing and murdered African American women and girls. I feel that that bill is very important to get passed um, African American women make up 19% of the population, however, they make up 42% of missing and murdered African, uh, people. So that bill is very important to get passed because um, we need to find out why it is that African American women are a target in this country, not just in Missouri, but in the country. But we need to get that bill passed right here in Missouri. It's passed in Minnesota, Illinois, and Wisconsin. M Missouri needs to be the next state to get that bill passed. What has been your greatest challenge you had to face while in office? My greatest challenge while being in office is dealing with all those different personalities. You have people that are all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and a lot of people have a hard time coming to the middle and negotiating so that everybody gets something. Um, so that's been one of the challenges and also you have to be able to, this, this job is not for the weak at heart because you have, a, like I said, a lot of people who do a lot of backstabbing, um, they lie to your face, they tell you they're going to do one thing and do something else. You have people working against you behind the scenes, which is one of the reasons why my bill did not pass. It's because a Democrat went behind my back and sabotaged it. So that is something that you have to deal with. You have to deal with people that are jealous and don't want to see you succeed or they're um, trying to help someone else that may be running against you. So that is one of the biggest challenges that I've 
um, had to deal with being a senator. What has been your greatest accomplishment while being in office? Okay. My very uh, first year in office, I was able to pass HB 402 along with my husband, State Rep. Jay Mosley. So we were the first couple, not just to serve together, but the first couple to pass a bill together. And what that bill does, if you, if you win the lottery, they are not able to publish your personal information without your permission. So that was a great accomplishment of mine. Um, I also was able to bring the first, first, very first COVID vaccination, mass COVID vaccination to Martin County. Um, as you know, we were in a pandemic back in 2021 and that's when the vaccination was coming out and everybody was getting vaccinated except for the black community. They were not being called back. So what I did was reach out to the health department, uh, worked with the director and brought a uh, vaccination event to North County at North County Rec Center. Um, what we did was ask them to use the zip codes within my district and I knew that if they used those zip codes that, that would make sure that blacks were getting the vaccination they wanted. So it, it was a really huge success. It was it was organized. We didn't have people waiting in long lines and not getting in. Um, it, it moved real smoothly. I was complimented by not just the uh, workers but the volunteers as well because they had never seen that many African Americans being able to get vaccinated at their um, vaccination events. All right, the most very important question of all, why should the people vote for you? The people should vote for me because I'm the best candidate for state senator. You need a senator that will show up to work and not miss work. You need a candidate who will be there to fight the fight, the good fight for our constituents. If you're not showing up to work, you can't fight on the floor. We have plenty of bills that come on the floor that are harmful to our constituents because we are in the majority Republican assembly. So they are always coming with some type of bill that is harmful to our state. So if you need someone that is there to get on the floor, to filibuster when it's needed. We filibuster for 50 straight hours. And if you're a person that does not show up to work, you will not be there to vote or to filibuster for 50 straight hours. Um, because we were there, because all 10 of us were there to show up to filibuster against the bill, we were able to stop that harmful bill from being a bill. Um, I also am a woman of passion for my constituents. I walked away from a job that pays twice as much as this to serve my community because I have a heart for my community. I saw an issue. I saw that there were things going on in our state that I was not happy to see going on. So I decided to do the right thing instead of complaining on social media all the time like people do. I said, let me step up and get into office so I can be the change that we need. So I got in January 2021, March of 2021. I put on the first COVID vaccination event because blacks were not receiving the vaccination that they deserved to get if they wanted it. I put on many of town halls I um, did a Stop the Gun Violence Town Hall, I did Crime Prevention Town Hall, Public Safety, Mental Health, ARPA Funds, also even did one on the marijuana bill that passed because I wanted to make sure that our constituents were aware of what the laws were regarding that bill so they wouldn't think that they could just smoke weed whenever and wherever. Um, I'm not a weed smoker myself, but I still want my constituents to know the law and know what they can and cannot do. Um, I am the senator that is here to represent you. And so that is why you should vote for me to stay in this seat that I earned 
four years ago and have been um, consistent in representing my constituents. Please join me in inviting President Barack Obama and Kehinde Wiley to unveil the portrait. Woo! <laughs>